In this video, we'll write the chemical formula for rust. So most commonly, when you're asked to write the chemical formula for rust, it's going to be Fe2O3, and that's iron 3 oxide. This 3 here in the iron 3 oxide, that means each of these irons, there's two of them, is going to be 3 plus. Oxygen is always this 2 minus, so 3 times 2 minus is 6 minus, 2 times 3 plus, 6 plus. That's why we have the formula Fe2O3 for iron 3 oxide. But when we think about the chemical equation that leads to us having this rust, this Fe2O3, that looks like this. We have our iron, or we have iron in some metal like steel. We have oxygen, we have air with the oxygen in it, and then we have water involved. And these are necessary for rusting to take place. What we end up with is iron 3 oxide with water. It's going to be hydrated, a certain number of water. The N means certain number of water molecules with the Fe2O3. So it might be better to write the formula for rust like this. This dot means that these waters, this is a hydrated form of Fe2O3, and the N here, that means that it'll be a different number depending on the conditions. So we could write the formula for rust as Fe2O3 NH2O, hydrated iron 3 oxide. The process that gets us from the iron, solid iron, to this iron 3 oxide, this hydrated iron 3 oxide, is a little bit involved. This is an electrochemical process. There's a link at the end of this video that really details that process if you want to know more. But in answer to our question, the formula for rust is Fe2O3. You could write it Fe2O3 and H2O as well to show that it's hydrated. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.